And the, and the health care reform isn't going to go away anytime either. And speaking of this, we've got some new studies out that there is apparently a single dose now of H1N1 vaccine that will be enough to protect adults against the swine flu. So how can investors make money on all of this swine flu story this fall? John Sullivan, I'm sure a shirt tail resident strategist at uh, Lyrinx Swan, joins us now with your ideas on this. What, what's the way we, you would approach this as far as some sort of opportunity to invest? Hey, Tom, good afternoon. And the, uh, the healthcare sector is one that's lagged the rest of the uh, stock market for the last several months. Uh, investors nervous about healthcare reform. So we think there's lots of opportunity in healthcare for investors. R regarding the H1N1 uh, virus specifically, uh, th there are a few different uh, ways for investors to play it. Obviously, if, if, this, if the outbreak of the uh, disease is widespread, uh, hospitals uh, should benefit at least in the near term. Uh, there's a lot of vaccine that's going to be moved around the country uh, to clinicians so that they can give it to patients. We think uh, th there are drug distribution companies that can, uh, that can help with that as well. So there are some ways for investors to benefit by um, to benefit by this, uh, this situation as it unfolds over the next few months. Uh, more broadly, we, we think that there's lots of opportunity in health care for investors as health care reform uh, continues to unfold and as we get toward the end of uh, the health care reform negotiations. Well, let's, let's sort this out because uh, we were talking about this, of course, with all the news this week again about health care reform, about the fact that there's a lot of companies out there that have been way up or way down, kind of event driven by whatever the headlines of the day are coming out of Washington. So the, a lot of people on Wall Street are talking about maybe biotechs, but you're talking in your notes that I read about biotechs are not really the way to go when it comes to H1N1. They're not going to benefit from all of this. How so? Well, as far as H1N1 is concerned, there are a couple of companies whose stocks have benefited dramatically as investors have gotten uh, have, have gotten behind them uh, in, in the perception that they have the vaccine products. Uh, a, company, uh, a, a company like Biochris has, uh, has benefited uh, well by that. Uh, we think the stock's coming off a long way and, and, and think that it's probably uh, a little bit too far for investors to, to benefit by directly. We, we think that, you know, we, we'd, we'd point investors toward some biotech stocks that, that we think have some upside uh, regardless of how the H1N1 situation unfolds. Uh, we like Genzyme, for example, stock symbol G-E-N-Z. Genzyme's in the middle of a little bit of a manufacturing issue in one of their plants right now. Historically, manufacturing problems come and go um, for, for companies like these, but more importantly, the customers, uh, the customers and the products uh, endure, and, and we think Genzyme's a stock that's got an awful lot of upside among biotech companies. John, can I ask your take on what's come out of the U.K.? Because I just came back from there. And there is tremendous resistance for people to take the vaccine that's available there. There's recommendations that pregnant mm. mothers should take it, and there's been a very low take-up rate. And I don't know whether partly that's because of concerns about possible side effects or the relative mildness uh, of the swine flu so far relative to the uh, public perceptions. But is the vaccine really going to be that money maker if that experience is replicated uh, elsewhere? You know, I, I do think an awful lot of vaccine is going to be dosed uh, over the next few months. My opinion is not different from yours, and I think that in Europe, where they're a little bit ahead of us in other parts of the world, including Europe, regarding, uh, re regarding this swine flu outbreak, I think that what they're finding is frequently the disease is pretty benign and, um, uh, and, uh, and riding through it is, a, uh, is an option. So I do think that uh, because safe is better than sorry with respect to these sort of things, I think there'll be a lot of dosing uh, of, the, uh, of the swine flu vaccine over the next few months, but I won't be a bit surprised if ultimately this turns out to be um, somewhat of a fizzle as a public health issue. All right. John Sullivan over at Lyrinx Swan. Thanks, John, very much. Appreciate your insight on Thank uh, you guys. some ways to make money out of this whole